I think many of you know that I am not exactly a big fan of Finn Balor, and most certainly was not hip to the idea of Finn Balor facing Brock Lesnar for the Universal title. I look at Finn Balor, he's better suited for the cruiserweight division than he is for taking on the Beast Incarnate and main eventing a Big Four pay-per-view in a world title match. I've talked about the reasons why, it's whatever, but it is the way it is. So, when I see these reports that Finn Balor is no longer slated to face Brock Lesnar for the Universal title at a pay-per-view, most notably coming up in January the Royal Rumble, can't lie. I'm happy. I won't say excited is the word, but happy. Because to me, I look at that type of match, and I fart at that type of match. And there's absolutely no appeal there. There's absolutely no interest. And let the Finbots do their thing with their flaming keyboard fingers of fire in the comment section, whatever. I don't care. I just had no interest in seeing that match whatsoever. Regardless of the rhyme or the reason as to why it is no longer occurring, I can say the Schleg Daddy concurs that this was a good idea. I do find it interesting, though, that the report circulating is that the reason Finn Balor is no longer penciled in or slated to face Brock Lesnar is because the WWE, and in this case, when it comes to things like this one person, Vince McMahon, feels like Finn Balor is not over enough to get that type of spot. And look, again, not a Finn Balor fan. I think once you get past the demon paint when he puts it on, and you get past the entrance, you got a jabroni. An overrated ass jabroni, period. Come at me. I don't care. Because you know it's true. Dude is overrated as shit. Period. And I don't understand why so many people get giggly tits about him. Because largely, once you get past the body paint and the entrance, fans aren't really that into his matches. So I do fundamentally agree with not putting him in a main event spot because, like I said, he's better suited at this point in time for the cruiserweight division. That's where the hell he should be, not wrestling heavyweights in the world title scene in the main event of big pay-per-views. He's just not there. Maybe someday he gets there. But right now, there's no way in hell he is at that point. But I do have a fundamental problem in defense of Finn Balor with what Vince McMahon is reportedly thinking, saying, and believing. You're saying that he's not over enough to face Brock Lesnar. So the number one measurement we are using then is people being over in order to face Brock Lesnar. So if we are using the over measurement, then Finn Balor is a no, then Enzo could be a yes? That seems incredibly ridiculous and stupid as the one sole measurement. To me, no, don't get me wrong, being over is important. Being over absolutely matters, although you wonder how much it really matters in today's WWE, but there are other factors at play. What type of story could you tell? What type of chemistry would there be between the two performers? Uh, how would the match actually go? Da, 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 da. There's a lot of stuff at play outside of just being over. That is one part, an important part, but to me, not the sole and only reason to give somebody a match or not give somebody a match against Brock Lesnar at a major pay-per-view. And then you think about it this way. Here's what I don't understand. Finn Balor's not over enough, but a Jinder Mahal initially was going to be over enough to face a Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series. Jinder Mahal was over enough initially. Now, ultimately, you changed the plans and went with AJ Styles, which made, made perhaps more logical sense and was somebody that was actually way more over than Jinder Mahal in AJ Styles. So if you're using the over measurement, okay, I get you there. But then what does that say about Jinder Mahal having been a long-reigning WWE champion? He's not over enough to face the part-time WWE Universal Champion, but he's 
over enough to be your WWE champion and anchor your SmackDown brand? That doesn't seem to wash with me. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If he's over enough to be the WWE champion, which in theory you would think that making somebody a world champion in your company, being over would be a major and significant part of that, then Jinder Mahal should have been facing Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series. And if Jinder Mahal wasn't over enough to do that, then maybe, just maybe, he should have never been your champion to begin with, regardless of the reasons that you use to rocket ship his ass to the top. But AJ Styles was. And here's what's so ridiculously, I don't know, hypocritical, ironic, idiotic, I don't know what phrase you want to tie to it, but I feel like all of them could apply. Jinder Mahal wasn't over enough to face Brock Lesnar, but AJ Styles ultimately was. The same AJ Styles, who was an 11th hour fill-in for Bray Wyatt at a pay-per-view, whom Finn Balor beat! So AJ Styles is over enough by this measurement to face Brock Lesnar, but a Finn Balor wasn't when you had Finn Balor beat him? This is why this company makes no damn sense. Now, do get me wrong, AJ Styles is massively better and massively more over than a Finn Balor. 100% agree. That's 100% fact. That said, though, why the hell is Finn Balor beating a freaking AJ Styles? Just to sit there and get wiped out by freaking Kane! And again, we want to come back to the whole thing of people not being over or not getting over. My question for Vince McMahon is even as somebody who is not a fan of Finn Balor, I look at the circumstances and situations that you put this guy in over the course of the summer, who the fuck would get over? You put him in the absolute worst program of the year with one of the biggest wastes of character and talent that you have in Bray Wyatt and accomplish nothing. All Bray Wyatt is right now is a vacuum of suck for himself and anybody else that gets sucked into the vortex of his character in a storyline program feud, whatever the hell you want to call it. Who the hell would be more over after feuding with Bray Wyatt in the feud that never ended? Nobody! So you take a Finn Balor, put him in this shitty program for months where we got to the point where we're arguing over face paint and we're talking about Bray Wyatt dressing up as a freaking woman to wrestle in the ring. You think that's going to get Finn Balor over? Especially knowing at one point in time you were potentially thinking about putting him in a spot where he would wrestle somebody like a Brock Lesnar for a world title at a big four pay-per-view? You think putting him in a summer-long feud against Bray Wyatt is going to get the fucking job done? And then, after, after, Bray Wyatt can't go because of JoJo, and we all know what that means. Yeah. You have Finn Balor go over AJ Styles, the guy who would later on beat Jinder Mahal, the WWE champion, who apparently was over enough to be the champion, but not really, but not over enough to actually face the other world champion of Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series. So that way you go with AJ Styles versus Brock Lesnar. Finn Balor beats AJ Styles just so that way, just so that way, Finn Balor beats AJ Styles and gets squashed by fucking Kane. And then when you get to Survivor Series in that five-on-five -five match, which is a big four pay-per-view, a big spot, main event of one of your signature pay-per-views, and you treat Finn Balor like an afterthought. You treat him like he doesn't really matter. And while selfishly on the one hand, I am all for that, on the other hand, I'm trying to think big picture here, unlike a lot of the people that will watch this damn video and sit there and say... This is what you've got. What are you going to do to get the most out of them? And when you spend an entire year in 2017 doing dumb, stupid, idiotic things and presenting a guy in a way that he doesn't really matter, that you don't really care about him, how in the fuck do you expect the fans to get behind a guy? I don't care if it's Finn Balor, Roman Reigns, or anybody damn else. It doesn't matter. When you present a Finn Balor like you have throughout 2017, why would anybody care? Why would he matter? Furthermore, it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy for Vince to sit there and say now, well, he's not really over enough. Well, ding dong, dumb dick, you wonder why. Who in the bluest the blue fucks would take a look at what you've done with him in 2017 and think there was any way possible for anything other than him to not get over?
And now what do you do? And furthermore, if we're going to go with the over thing, how fucking over is Brock Lesnar as a universal champion when you've had Raw's where he's appeared and he's been announced to appear and the arena's been half fucking empty? It's not like he's some big boon to your television ratings. It's not like he's some big massive boon to your pay-per-view business, your WWE network business. So if we're using being over as a measure, why are we? Because Brock Lesnar is not nearly as over as the WWE tries to pretend him to be and tries to make him out to be because they're paying him way too damn much for way too damn little and that's a fact, Jack. This has got me worked up and I, I, I think Finn Bal Balor absolutely sucks. But I cannot deny that there are people that like this guy. And in the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't fucking matter who Brock Lesnar faces any damn way. So if you want to go Finn Balor, fine. But what's ridiculous about this is you had months where you thought that this could be a potential possibility. And you did nothing but undercut Finn Balor. You did nothing but try to drag the rug out from Finn Balor. And then when you give him that one piece of shine, him beating AJ Styles, which by the way you shouldn't have fucking done to begin with, because ultimately it's AJ that went on to face freaking Brock and Survivor Series, you immediately follow that up by having them get squashed by an almost 50-year-old Kane and then treating them like an afterthought in the main event of your big four pay-per-view Survivor Series. It's no wonder Finn Balor's not over. Because how the hell could anybody be this over with this incompetent leadership like the WWE has?